Hello everybody, welcome back to some more home. We are finally at home. And in the last episode, we discovered that our beloved Rachel had been murdered violently and was left in our basement. And um, our wall had been plastered up. I'm telling you, it had to be us. No one else would come through our house, find, murder our wife, plaster up our wall. Within the few broken pieces that remained of that mirror, I could see my face had grown pale and weak. I couldn't bear to look again. It was like I didn't actually expect a reflection. I felt empty and drained. Perhaps I would never know how that mirror came to be broken. Was it by Rachel's assailant or by Rachel herself? The thought lingered and would haunt me forever. The reflection in that grimy glass was only a shadow, a whisper. The quiet in that room unnerved me terribly. I still loved that old-time charm of that claw-footed bathtub, though it seemed like cold comfort then. Rachel loved this part of the house. It was the key card I found at that factory, the one that allowed me to slip through that door. It seemed to me that it was probably Norman's, but if that was true, what was he doing back at the plant? Did I think Norman was going back to the factory? Was he? That doesn't make sense though. Why would Norman go back to... Yes, it must have been him. He must have been using the old locker room. I had made up my mind. The laptop was dead, but I found some notes on loose paper in the drawer where I had found the key. There was a yellow sticky note with an eight-digit code. Did I take it? Yes. The code looked like it might be for the safe, but what kind of phrase was that? There wasn't anything more to find in the desk. I mean, it was if it was Norman's key card, either he had been going back to the factory or someone had stolen it, or it just got lost, right? I mean, I don't think, I don't know. The code I found should have let me access the safe. Did I try to open it? Yes, the code worked. I pulled open the small safe door and peered inside. There was a photo in there of Rachel and I when we had first moved to town. In it, we were smiling outside the front of the house, which looked like a real mess. We looked happy, though. Odd. I couldn't remember who took that photo. Inside the safe was also an envelope. The front of it read, Do not open it until I tell you. I guess this was a good time as any to see what was inside. Did I open the dot envelope and read what was inside? Yes. I tore open the envelope and removed the yellow lined paper inside. On it was a letter written in hand that looked familiar. The letter read, I know this whole event has probably been pretty difficult. You can't imagine how hard it's been for me, too. Well, maybe you can. That isn't meant to be an excuse, but... Well, I hope you can better understand why I've done what I've done. Moving to this town seemed like such a dream, a quiet place to get established, to live out our lives, and to be together. But you know as well as I do that things quickly changed. Your drinking was one thing, but as you grew more distant, as you retreated into that world of yours, well, it was clear... You didn't need me as much. In fact, maybe you never needed me at all. But it took all this to make you realize. In the end, though, you may never forgive me for this. You may never forgive yourself. But this is probably for the best. You'll be healthier for this. I'm just sorry it had to happen this way, Rachel. Shit. Okay, so she left. Okay, so I'm even more, it seemed like I've seen all there was. Maybe I thought I was ready to go back to the basement. Maybe there wouldn't be anything for me to find, but I had to take a last look. If I was guilty, I could take this to a warm, safe place and do something about it. Did I pick up the knife? No. No, no, there were other means of dealing with this. Now that I stood there, I realized that I couldn't go back to that room again. I had already seen too much. I needed to put it into this situation, one way or another. Okay. 
Yeah, I took the knife and kept it firmly in my hand. I think he's gonna kill himself. I knew I needed to escape that nightmare, but what about the knife I still carried? I wondered, even if I left, would it really be all over? So did I leave the house forever? No, I peered at the knife as I turned away. A warm place, I had thought, where could that be? Um, can recall when I'd last ate. I mean, what can I do with this knife? I need to. Just thinking about things like that made me get made me sick with grief. We only want a nice place to settle down, not this madness. All right, let's go up here and see what we can find. But who had killed him? No matter what, I needed some kind of escape. Perhaps I would never know how that mirror came to be broken. Was it, um, I don't know, man. Nope. I mean, I would probably blame the guy, but I don't think suicide is going to be an option. I think we can leave, and hopefully the authorities will catch up and straighten this whole mess out. Um, because, quite honestly, um, there needs to be some sort of unbiased third party come and figure this crap out. And we're going to walk away. Yep. Yes, you did. Leave the house. Living in this town hadn't been easy. The plant had helped in some way to stay grounded. It kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that was when I had started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. I had MRIs and piles of doctor's reports, but nothing seemed to help, not even drinking. But I swear I had tried to give it up. I know it. The sleepwalking never really went away, though, but I know Rachel had tried. I know she had tried to be there for me, even when everything was falling apart. This night had unearthed terrible truths, but I knew it was a final act of a long-standing horror I had been living. Waking up in that house tonight was a final cruelty. I wish I had remained unconscious in that room forever. It, would, it was obvious me, to me that the man I had found in that house had something to do with all this. Could he have killed Rachel? It started to seem that there were too many things I had seen to think otherwise. After making it out of those tunnels, I thought those sewers might feel safer. I was wrong. The security tape I'd watched showed someone being attacked by what looked like two people. But who was it that was attacked? I'd found the contents of my wallet scattered throughout town. Why the hell had I been out there? Had my sleepwalking gone to some new extreme? The thought that I couldn't account for my whereabouts, but knew I had been to that forest and even Norman's place, well, it was terrifying. I hadn't known what that meant. I didn't know what that meant, but at least I had recovered my things. Hopefully, I thought that would cover my tracks, so I wouldn't be blamed for all this. Deep within those woods, though, was where those things became truly awful. Was, uh, finding that notebook only made things worse. Rachel's name had been on that list, so what terrible plot was she part of? There was a similar list of names on the desks back in those tunnels. What was the connection? It was clear, at least, that Norman had been going back to the old plant. Maybe he was the one who had boarded up that locker room, who had been drinking up there in that secret hiding place. So had he killed that guard then? He must have. Maybe he was found out, or the guard had caught him on patrol. Damn it, Norman, why? After the factory, I thought I might find some solace if I could just get to Norman's store. But all I had found were more horrors and more questions. Now that I really consider it, that's when I should have seen it coming. 
damn Norman, how did you get mixed up in this? I know you weren't a perfect man, none of us are, but you didn't deserve this. Maybe whoever had done uh, done you and was responsible for the other murders that happened in that town. At the very least, I was convinced that you and Rachel were killed by the same person. I sincerely hoped you would find some peace, my friend. I knew I never would. When I had marched through the, the rain towards home, I desperately clung to the hope that this would end, and I guess in a way it did. But how could I have known how helpless it all was? I had started to feel as disoriented as when I sleepwalked. To think of it now, I guess I should have known from the terrible silence that greeted me when I first stepped into our house and stood there in the kitchen. There was no sound of television radio, even the air was still. But seeing Rachel there lying, ruined and discarded in the basement, that was a horror I could never have imagined. I don't, I didn't know if I'd ever find the answers I crave, but I knew that somehow this other man... I had found was responsible for this. If not directly, he must have had a hand in Rachel's death. So what was I doing in that damned house of his? I had, had I found out? Had I killed him? My damned condition made it difficult to know. Memories and time frames were always a mess, and I could never be sure. Knowing that man was dead, though, was cold comfort. My wife was gone, and no matter what happened to me now, I was lost forever. As I swung open the door and stepped out in the air, I caught the scent of wet grass and fog. Rachel, my beautiful wife, just the thought of her again, cold and inert, shook me from head to toe. What would I do now? Who could I turn to? It would only be a matter of time before the police got involved, before the neighbors knew. The front lawn was soft and giving beneath my feet, and I couldn't shake the urge that I shouldn't stand there, but rather that I should run. Oh, wow. Well, that's that. No! Ugh. I hate it. I hate it. I mean, I love it. It's great. But I have no idea what happened. I mean, I think... I think I know what happened. Home is dedicated to my wife, Nancy. Watch your back. The end. So that's the end. That's it. I think... Um, okay, so that's the end of Home. Um, I feel like there might be more different things you could do based on like um your choices like did i pick up the thing did i look at the videotape um i wonder i wonder i wonder if i wonder what what else could happen i guess i'm gonna need to research that and see um but thank you guys for watching home with me and uh seeing what you know what happened maybe i'll do a, a follow-up maybe not i probably won't uh, this will be that I mean, we got the ending we got based on the choices we made. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one, which hopefully will be as cool and intriguing as this. But I don't know. Maybe it'll just be, you know, whatever. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.